Hey, what up? It's Read Your Mind from Urban RCLA, and we're continuing this build series of the Proline SR5 body with the Knight Custom Upgrade. So, let's get to it. Okay, so where we're at is we've got the front bumper and the rear bumper already installed as well as the roll bar. If you haven't seen how we did that, you can watch the previous video in the series and catch up. Uh, but for now, we're going to keep moving on. Next up, I don't think I'm going to install the light buckets because I need to paint them black. Um, and I, so I think now we're going to look at doing this front grill. The front grill is really cool and really nice looking. I'm a little bit concerned because i got to drill four holes for the screws to mount it to the body. And I also got to cut it out correctly. Then I also need to decide whether or not I want to keep this bumper. Like maybe there's a way to mount this in there without actually removing the bumper. Or if it's going to look better without. It's not one of those decisions you can make twice. So I'm going to take a look and see what I think. And then um, hopefully we'll be able to get this installed. So it looks like I'm going to have to remove the entire front bumper as well as the area that's outlined for the front of the grill. Now, I'm just going to do it one step at a time just so I make sure I leave enough space for, or for enough margin for error. So that's my plan anyways and I'm sticking to it. So on to cutting Lexan, which some of you know if you watch my top 10 things I hate about RC is not one of my favorite things to do. Okay, I think I figured out what's wrong. It's the scissors I'm using. I have another set of scissors that's way better than this, which I can't find at the moment, but that's off. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, it looks like it basically goes up there and all the way around through there. But before I get started, I'm gonna find a better pair of scissors. All right, there we go. Okay, we've got that removed now, but it's a little bit wonky, so I'm gonna have to clean it up. But I think if I start to put that in there, I can see how it's going to go on there now. Yeah. It's going right in there like that. Very cool. That's going to be super cool. All I got to do is clean that up with a Dremel. And it'll be ready to go in and drill some holes. Now that I got it cut, um, I can see that I have a little bit of work in, in sanding it down a little bit. So I'm actually going to grab my trusty sander and get to sanding so that that way it'll be as close to the fitment I want as possible. There we go. I think that's good enough. Now remember, I'm building this application for taking on Axial Fest. I'm not too concerned with scuffs and scratches and little fitness issues. I just want it to look good from afar while it's going up and down a course. So I think that's a good fitment. So now all I got to do is get the uh, holes drilled on the side. Uh, I, might, I might just do one hole. We'll see. Uh, and then get it fitted together so it'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, I've gotten one of the, the screws in there. Again, I used a wood screw because that seems to do the best at holding these um, parts. I'll probably have to cut that off or maybe find a smaller screw, uh, like maybe something like this I think will do. Uh, but I'm going to hold that in place as I drill the other hole. Hopefully I can get it lined up good. Okay. 
trying not to get my fingers while I'm at it. All of this would have been a lot better to do before you painted the body. Just a heads up. Okay, got a little trim there to do. Not so bad though. Looking like it's going in there pretty good. Okay, I got the two screws in there. I guess I can put the second screws in there just to get them all lined up. And then we can take a look at how it looks. It's going along nice and smooth. Okay, now you can see now you can see that I've got the grill installed. And I just want to check and see how that looks on the actual rig itself. Uh, just to see how the look is coming. And you can see it definitely looks really tight and snug there. It looks really cool. Uh, yeah, I messed up a little bit in the front right corner, but whatever, I'm going to beat the crap out of it at Axial Fest. Uh, if it's good enough, maybe I'll enter it in Show and Shine, but at this point, with that mistake, probably not good enough for Show and Shine, but whatever. Starting to look really sick. I'm going to get these light buckets on, see what I'm doing with in terms of wiring, um, and then we'll see how the fitment looks. Boy, this is a really fun project. It's been really easy to install, and I, I really recommend it to anybody who's going to be looking for some aftermarket parts. The quality of Night Customs is crazy. Again, these, these light buckets don't actually come with any screws to affix them into the actual roll bar. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out which screws are gonna work the best to go through the roll bar that distance and the distance into here without popping through. Uh, that again is one of my biggest complaints is not having all the pieces, um, especially with these kinds of parts here that are highly custom. I know that the manufacturer had a chance to actually do the fitment and put them all together. So it would be nice to either have a recommendation of the screw to use or to include or to include the screws into the packaging. Well, obviously it's gonna have to be front. Here we are at the last phase of fitment here. Just gonna see how much screw I need to keep these pods on here. Um, I can already tell that these screws, which I pulled off my uh, SEX 10 Rubicon uh, roll cage, um, that's gonna work, but with not so much thread in there, I think the first time I fall over onto these headlamps, they're gonna break off. That's my prediction. Uh, just because I've taken some pretty serious tumbles, but we're going to do everything we can to not let that happen, including uh, possibly even super gluing them and creating that bond with CA glue. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, let me get these on. Let's see how it looks before I hit the paint. Okay, they do seem pretty tight, but I just know that they're going to be loose or break off. So maybe when I'm going through Axial Fest, um, through all the adventure zones, maybe I'll just Try not to fall over. <laughs> All right, let's get these on there. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Looks pretty good. Obviously, it's the wrong color. These just snap on right like that. So let me finish that up, get this mounted up, and we'll take a look at what the fitment has to tell us about the story of building the SR5. Nice snug fit on those. What I will say is that because of the texture of the, the plastic, it picks up dirt really easy. So if that's a concern of yours, definitely keep them in a clean place. Um, but again, I just feel like those are just gonna break right off. They look pretty cool though, so let's take a look at how it looks in the truck. There you have it. The first phase complete. I've done all my fitment. Uh, I've seen where I'm gonna place everything. Now I can start working on the details like painting the light buckets and then ultimately getting the light kit installed, which I gotta figure out as well. Getting the lens caps on uh, and a bunch of other uh, bits and bobs I'm gonna do, including some uh, windshield wipers from Firebrand RC and some rear view mirrors from Firebrand RC. Um, uh, trimming the, the rear bumper. There's a bunch of things I gotta do, but. 
Hey, if you like the build series so far, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the parts I've used from Knight's Customs, go ahead and ask your questions below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, you can find all the product numbers and whatnot in the description as well, including the forum link, which will show you how to do this step by step. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And I'd love to see you on the next video uh, when I continue the build series of the Back to the Future Toyota SR5 featuring Knight Custom Parts. Thanks for watching. I'm Read Your Mind. I'm out of here.